is. So we got a oh shit, we got a lot going on here. So uh, we got our first P39Q25 ace match. So we got six we got six human target kills. Um, and I've been flying this thing out. I flew it out maybe two or three times yesterday, and uh, it needs to climb. And uh, it just feels super stiff. But I died a few times in it yesterday. Um, I flew it out several times a day, and there has been no no deaths. Um, so I just have to be careful how I fly it. Um, it's a great diver. It's a great energy fighter. But um, one, it catches fire easily. And I think I've said that before. And two, it feels heavy as hell. doesn't f fly like the other P-39s. Like the N's. And uh, flies more like the K. And the K is heavy. And that's the reason I don't fly it. And another nagging issue is when you run out of ammo in the guns that are in the fuselage you only have the two wing mounted cannons left and due to the convergence they're, they're kind of out there I wish they were closer in um, but due to the wide convergence they're a lot harder to get kills so if you're gonna get your kills you do it before the nose mounted machine guns and cannon uh, before they uh, run out otherwise you're going to have an issue now to mitigate the issue it means you need to shoot right at convergence or a little bit before a little bit after um and i have 600 meter convergence which means if i have someone that's close in like less than half a click i'm gonna have issues hitting um so i have to practice on maybe getting one of those two to hit um when i'm when it's i guess uh closer than convergence um after is not so much an issue for me but uh but anyways let's talk about the match here so we we get we finish an award here we're already almost done with the mark of distinction uh that's not a huge deal this thing um because I'm always using premium time, so I always have four slots. Uh, so there's that, and so we went almost a full 25 minutes for for this particular mission. Um, again, we got six kills. Um, we were busy. Uh, I guess we were pretty busy. 90% activity. Uh, but look at this. So I am not running. So it's a premium plane. So those are the bonuses. So it's it's not. That civil line is not a lot. Uh, but remember, I uh, I killed a lot of bots. Um, and I did that because I didn't want to try and hunt down the, the last bomber. Time was running out, and I just wanted the match done. Um, we would have won on tickets anyway, so I suppose I could have went and tried to find him. But I knew where he was. He was at the base, and he probably hadn't taken off. And he probably was just going to sit there. Uh, but we got 20, almost 25,000 RP and 153,000 plus silver lions, which is actually pretty. That I was actually shocked. That's pretty good considering I wasn't running a silver lion booster. Um, so I, I'm relatively impressed. Um, so we got Survivor. We got Hero of the Sky, since we got more than five. Uh, we got the final blow. Um, and these are kind of trivial. Um, so there's the six kills. Yeah, wow, a pretty high raw score there. And we were, we were sorely outnumbered. <laughs> we were the only one on our team left alive against, I think it was six, maybe even seven uh um fighters and bombers on the enemy team um let's go ahead and accept that no longer i'm no longer really caring so much about these tasks they'll get done if they get done 
um, but I do select them every now and again to kind of make it easier for, easier for me to grind. Just select something that I know I'm going to achieve. Like if it if this was set for bombers, uh, if the, it, if this was a bomber task, then I'm not I'm not ever flying bombers, so I would switch that. Uh, and I think I did that yesterday. So what did we shoot down? HE 111, then the FW 190, uh, then a DB3, and then another FW 190, uh, and then this BF 110. Um, so I played this, this plane smart. I didn't take any head-ons. I did a little bit of, of extending um, from this guy initially after I killed um, him. He was fixated on me. So I just extended to the base. Um, and he took damage and had to go and get a repair. Um, and in the meantime, I killed this guy and then this guy. Um, and then I had a bunch of guys following me in and by that you know by that time i had already lost uh most of my ammo it, it was all it was pretty much shot out so i had to land so uh one guy came into the base trying to chase me down and died to the triple a and uh, i landed and then there was this guy left and this guy left as well as a bomber so there are three planes left and these guys were hovering near me while i was trying to climb uh, this plane needs altitude to climb, so that was kind of crucial to me. So I stayed near the base and climbed. They went and started attacking, trying to get the tickets down because we had them on tickets. We had a ticket advantage. So while they were busy, I got above them. I went into the clouds, hit a little bit until I felt that I was above them, and then I hunted them down. And this guy, he didn't do the smart thing. He tried to boom up at me. I took advantage of that, and then this guy was by then he was the only fighter left so he he was stuck down low and i i finished him off so um this guy stuck around to watch and he was very very chatty i think he's chatting to someone on the other team which is why he's in all chat he said something about me. Um, so let's go about watching a replay here. Kind of excited that I finally got that I got an ace in this plane, but I flew it like I do other P-39s. Only I had to kind of be careful because, as I said, it it feels heavy. And I don't understand why. I'm almost certain that that thing is nerfed. I, I wish I could look at the, I guess the, compare the, uh, the config of this plane against, like an N zero. It's pretty much an N zero, and I'd, I'd you know, uh, because I want to know why there's such a difference. So. Let us let us explain the game plan here. So really, there's no game plan. I'm just trying to to uh, climb and gain altitude. But with this map, what I normally do is I'll, you're going to see me adjust my course, and there I am right now. I'm adjusting my course to go this way because the plan is to climb this base as coverage and I'll come over here and I'll start picking off uh, attackers and bombers that are bombing this area and these bases here so the plan is to get enough height to cut them off cut them off or surprise them get above them or at least equal height um, but again uh, even though this is considered an interceptor plane it is highly susceptible to to fire so you need to be careful with bombers and attackers or anything that has turrets um, and I got lucky with the first plane because I was kind of staying behind him uh, trying to get lead on target uh, so I stayed behind him a lot longer than usual and I don't think he was shooting at all so he must be might have been a newer player um, I'm trying to think of what else 
of uh, what we're gonna do is we really gonna stay around this area. But let's speed this up here because there is some dead space in the uh, dead space in the uh, in the footage initially because uh, I was using that time to climb. So that's the first guy there. I was hoping others on my team would climb so that I could. Oops, I selected the wrong thing. So that I could, uh, I guess, compliment them or they could compliment me. And initially, it looks like we had some guys that were relatively high, uh, 4,000 meters or so, but they all dove down. So closing in and I think everyone is fixated on that HE 111 there he is and we're gonna see the C 205 attempt to latch on but I'm faster than he is and probably I got the better angle but I want to watch out for that guy and that guy the BF 110 is kind of close he's actually headed this way I think so here we are c205 is coming in i'm not even sure if he actually got gun time he's, he's way out and he is shooting i just got plain lucky Cause fire and then dove. By now, the C205 is gone. This guy's coming at me. Looks like both of them are attempting to head this way. Initially, I'm climbing up, so I actually squandered some uh, some energy there. But now, I'm climbing and trying to extend away. And he is slowly walking me in. I suppose I could have just went over there and uh, and dealt with him. But I'm, I'm flying this thing very cautiously because I've, I've burned this thing up several times already by taking uh, rounds from my turrets. It seems like it's much more flammable than the other P-39s as well. I burn up more in this plane in the time that uh, I've had it in the, the, the uh, test drive than I did any other uh, P-39. It, it, that's the way it seems. So he's headed in. He's trying to outspeed me. Everyone else is down low. Yes, my team is is dying. They're almost dead. I think there's like two or three guys left. Is there he broke off he's not smoking yet so okay he's taking rounds there and he's smoking and that's not base fire either that's that's just regular ground fire which is odd so now if we look at the scoreboard here we're the only one left. That quickly. We've only been playing like 10 minutes. I am the only one left alive. So I'm watching that guy. I'm thinking on heading over there to kill him. But I want altitude because I don't know where all the other planes are. There's, there's still some that are unaccounted for. So that's two, four five six so there's three unaccounted for and it might be the bombers that are unaccounted for I believe that is the case now I didn't really have time to kind of contemplate that in the game which is why I like reviewing replays and you learn things you know if I would have take taken the time to uh, assess that 
I would have known that it would have been safe to boom down. But we're headed over there now, and we're going to start trying to pick people off. We're looking at the ITP, but he's, he's flying funny. He looks like he's about to die. He's very low, he's very slow, and I don't want to squander all of my altitude all the way near the ground with those guys so near because they'll, they'll walk me down and they'll kill me so I focus on these guys instead because I'm almost certain that ITP is going to die and we should see him die yep he died so now we have all we have to worry about is this guy and now we're just energy fighting him Decide to not take it because the other guy was too near. But he is so focused on the uh, on the bot that I I probably probably could have went and get killed him. Now the other guy's coming back up, and I've got a I've still got a bunch of energy, and I'm using it immediately. Uh, snipe him out of the plane. Now he's coming in the way. He waited too long. He should have been helping his teammate out. So we've got a bunch of energy and now we're using it to kind of go away from him, force him to climb up, squander his altitude. What he should have did was he should have pitched down. I popped flaps and gained some maneuverability. I think he stalled out. I think, and it looks like he has stalled out. But I waited too long to get guns on him. Luckily, I was actually able to get some uh, rounds to land. So that's uh, three kills there. Now we're trying to ensure that we stay on top of... Uh, uh, ensure that we keep the ticket advantage, right? Which means that we're going to start killing some uh, bombers that are nearby. Or, or some attackers that are nearby. Some bots. And that was a nice shot there. And there's someone to my left. It's a bomber. Yep, there he is. So I don't see anyone yet. A little bit low. But it looks like he's fixated. He's trying to get some points here probably grinding there's the first fighter and so it almost looks like he has tunnel vision he's just trying to you know he spent a lot of time trying to fly around the map to get here and I'm looking at the way he's flying and I'm like he's not gonna pull off he wants he wants to finish that base so I'm gonna go over there and and get another kill so I believe I'm almost out of cannon. Yeah, I'm out. Got some damage there. Not even sure he was trying to shoot at me. These guys are closing in quick. So I'm trying to hurry up. He turns into me. And he's not shooting. So there's my fourth kill. Now I cut this close because if when I look back, so yeah, he is close. There he is. He's really close. But this thing is an excellent diver. He is not going to catch me. He's slowly walking me in because he has altitude advantage. But look at look at how my uh, my speed kind of climbs. Slowly coming in. I'm trying to entice him by waggling a little bit. And pow! He takes rounds. I believe he's trying to shoot. I thought I heard rounds being fired. 
Now, if I could have turned in really quick, I might have been able to put some rounds into him to get an extra kill out of that. But I'm surprised people do that. I, I, I do it occasionally when I think I can catch someone. But it's uh, a lot of times uh, I, I don't succeed in doing that. So I, you know, the savvy pilot will pull pull away when once he realizes he's not going to catch him and start climbing. Because really, I needed the land. Which means that you know, once I'm <clears throat> repaired or rearmed or refueled, I have to take off again. And if someone's above me, that makes it harder for me to climb and get an advantage. So, so those guys are staying over there. I think there's three guys left. Then I have maybe 80 rounds of uh, 50 cal left. So my plan now is to go over and take care of that DB3. But then this guy looks like he's headed this way seeing me, so I decided to use the base to climb. He breaks away. And then the BF-110, he starts doing the same thing. So they're, they're hanging around. I guess they're thinking that I'm just going to fly up in the middle of that. And so while we're flying and dodging, I'm going to take a look at this guy's uh, So we lost track. The BF is somewhere over here. There's his dot right there. So my plan is to climb as hard as I can, get into these clouds, and he'll lose my dot. Both of them will eventually lose my dot, while I roughly know where they're at. So, uh... <clears throat> labels no longer a render, and this is the time. So I boom up. Not sure if this is considered seal clubbing. A lot of these guys should be. I mean, this is how, this is how you learn. Uh, and I can't. I'm not gonna just say, "Oh well, I'm not gonna shoot at this guy because that's considered seal clubbing." You know, I'm gonna have a match. And you know, if anything, you can learn from those guys that I seal clubbed, right? You can learn what not to do. which I do highlight a lot of times. I'll say, he shouldn't have done that. He should have dove. Or he should have, he should have climbed at me. Or, or whatever. So now, I'm diving down to try and deal with him. But I'm also looking around to make sure that the BF doesn't catch me out. Because at this point, I, I no longer know where he is. And he's coming up at me. He's coming under me. He's thinking I'm going to take the head on. <laughs> Don't try and do that. He had the angle, but I have the altitude. Why would I give up the advantage? And there's the BF. Why would I give up the advantage when I don't need to give up the advantage? I have it. I keep it. So now I'm energy fighting. S sniped him out of the plane. There's a lot of pilot sniping in this... Uh, match so at this point I didn't see where that the 110 was under me so I'm looking around he's the last one as far as I'm concerned I know that there's a bomber left but he's either hiding or he's just flat out still at the base and I'm, I doubt that the uh, look like he's at the base Wow. He might be taking off. No? So he's still at the base.
I believe. Or well, maybe that's where he was last seen at. But it, it shows that he's out of bombs. Will he not repair or is he just landing? I don't know. So now that I see him... his tail off and then I cause a fire and he did shoot at me at the last minute but he did not hit me and that's a six kill I think he's just sitting on the airfield so now at this point let's, I want to keep taking a look at him so now we're we're hitting uh, bots. Whittle down ticket count, and each time I shoot one of those uh, those bot planes down, tickets goes down a little bit more. Okay, he might be taking off a little bit late. But it would have been so nice to get eight kills in this thing, or seven kills. I think I've only had two uh, eight kill matches in my entire flying uh, experience. Yep, it's taking off. I'm not sure if I would have had time to, to get him. He's not all that far. I could have tried to go get him next time and that is the game ending uh, bot kill there so I don't know I might have a love hate relationship with this plane uh, again these guns here once these run out of ammo, you still have some in these pods, but it, it's very hard to kind of get led on target. Uh, you would definitely have to pay attention to convergence if you're even allowed to to be within convergence. You know, a lot of times, uh, fighting can be up close. Um, now, in the last, not this last match, but the, la the match before then, I killed a C205. Uh, the last plane in the, you know, that last enemy plane in the game, I killed him, and he was very up close, and the only thing I had left were these two. So it took uh, quite a long time for me to uh, to hit him, and I know I had to be had to have been close uh, to running out of ammo. You know you are when you only have these left. Um. So that's 300. These are 200. So yeah. So there's a hundred difference. But there's only two of them. So I mean, I suppose you can get a couple of kills. You just have to make sure that you hit and maybe even hope you cause a fire or damage something like an engine. You know, some, 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 uh, planes are, they don't take kindly to engine damage. You know, I-16s, for example. They'll, they'll burn the hell out if they take engine damage. Uh, C-202s. Um, maybe even BFs. Definitely uh, uh, P-51s. Um, that Their engines are not robust. I mean, they're strong, but when it comes to, I guess, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um... They're just not durable when it comes to taking damage. So, so that was cool. That was cool, but it, I believe that was hard on, earned, you know, because I had to do things that I normally don't do. Uh, just make sure that I had the, the altitude advantage. Uh, make sure I didn't take unnecessary risks. Um, it's a great energy fighter. Um, you can stall out, stall the C205, um, and, and was able to stay behind him, 
and get to kill. Um, it's a great diver, uh, but again, um, these wing tanks, they tend to catch fire. They're supposed to be self-sealing. I've never seen them seal. Well, maybe once or twice, but they, they typically do not seal. Um, what else? And I'm not sure about this rate of climb. Um, you get up to height quickly, but only to 3,000 meters. Maybe you start slowing down a little bit before then. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think it does climb well, but all all P-39s usually, they, they usually climb well until you hit maybe 3,000 meters. But uh, with the P-39 and zeros, I'm actually able to keep climbing uh, to maybe four or 4,500. And it just doesn't seem like those planes have as much of an issue at that height as this plane does 